Hi and welcome to Bookstage and Screen. We're doing a little bit different today. We're at the Altona Library with Mama Knows West and Ali's Book Bookfest. We're lucky to be here with Kelly Marocchi. She's the author of The Girl Who Saved the Frogs. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Are you actually the girl who did save the frogs? No. Or is that spoiler alert? We, yeah. we, we're not. <laughs> we no, I'm not. Mention. I'm the mum of the girl who saved the frogs. The mother, oh, yes. the mother of the girl. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. So that, that's the basis of the story? Yeah, that's how I came across the idea. Um, my daughter loves frogs. Mm -hmm. um, and we went to Hillsville Sanctuary when they were younger yeah. and they've got all these endangered signs everywhere of all the different animals and how many of that species is left and um, by about the third or fourth animal my, my children were so distressed <laughs> they'd walk around the next corner and go oh no like, there's, a, there's a bird that um, hasn't got this many thousand left and, and then they got to frogs and my daughter loves frogs so she um, took it upon herself to uh, want to do things to help help frogs, and oh, she was lovely. about three and a half at the time. And I thought, oh my wow. goodness, how how do you help frogs? Yeah, but we've done some research and come across some things, and and yeah, and so she, she inspired me to write. I think I have seen um, a few nature programs where they've said frogs are like the canary in the mine, that they're, they're a good barometer of what's going uh -huh. on with the, with the environment. Yeah, that's right. They're good indicators of if your environment is um, healthy. Um, uh -huh. And if you've got frogs in your garden, you've got a very healthy garden. But unfortunately, ah. frogs are declining. I think they're one of the fastest declining species in the world. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, so um, because of human habitat and pollution and there's another fungus going around as well that is attacking ah. the skin of, of oh. frogs. So they're declining very quickly. So not, not good news for frogs. Not good news. For Although so many people are frog collectors. Like even if you go out to the Altona Market, uh, which is just outside from where we are every Tuesday, I think it is, they have people who sell frog trinkets. You know, people who uh, yeah, yeah. frogs, they make them out of stones, they make them out of shells. Yeah. Why are frogs? Frogs are so... Popular. They Why are. do you think your daughter picked frogs? I have absolutely no, <laughs> no idea. She's, I don't know, she's got a few little collectible things, but whenever, like you say, whenever we go to a market, she'll straight be drawn to the frogs. Oh, can I get this frog? <laughs> um, she hasn't actually given me a reason for why. She right. just, no, she just and it. who's done all these drawings? Because there's a heap of lovely drawings in the book. If you get the book, you can see it's full of... Lovely illustrations. Yeah, that was me. Oh. <laughs> I um, was just sitting down. I actually made the, the this book initially for my daughter. I wasn't planning to have it published. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so I did some illustrations and popped it all together for her. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll pause while... <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's... Mm -hmm. it's we will edit this bit out. <laughs> it's a few editing bits no, along no, the way. Note to self. So, <laughs> so try and continue where you were saying you were, you were illustrating. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I illustrated it. Um, it was just meant to be as a little keepsake for my daughter, just so she can remember the things that she has done and take pride in um, and what she's done for her chosen animal. Um, but being working in um, early childhood, I'm a, an assistant kinder teacher, um, I took it into our kinder, the children loved it, the other <laughs> teachers loved it, and they um, pushed me to get it published, so. Fantastic, and that's, I guess, where you come in with Ali? Yes. How did you find Ali? Um, actually, funnily enough, my son's piano teacher was thinking of publishing a book <laughs> yeah. and I mentioned that I had done this book and she goes, well, I know this lady, Ali, and um, yeah, you might want to get it, get in contact with her, it's a really easy process and... Um, so I did, and she, she was lovely, so easy to work with and made the process yeah, very simple. So, um, so yeah, really happy with the final Wait, product. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> was she the one that suggested that you do the illustrations, or did you...? No, I'd already done it. I had, um, I had I'd written the book, I'd illustrated it, and then oh, okay. I went to Officeworks and I did a little photo book ah. and put it all together. <laughs> and that's how I showed the kinder teacher and um, the kinder students. And from there, I presented that book to Ali and said, can we make this into a uh, published book? So. Mm. And it's not only a book, as in a story, there mm. are practical help. 
practical uh, yes. things you can do to help frogs. Yep, that's it. Um, in the back, I think I've got some recipes for some healthier options around the home uh, cleaning wise. So uh, at home, we make our own washing powder. Okay. Um, for clothes washing powder yep. um, and we make our own cleaning surface cleaners as well yep. um, and really bicarb and vinegar yes. are amazing yep. they, they can just eliminate all the poisonous um, things in your household and do really just as good a job so mm. um, yeah so there's some little tips and tricks in the back well, to keep your house healthy. There are a number of um, you know cleaning products that you can buy that advertise with, with now with bicarbonate of soda. Mm. So I'm kind of like, well, why don't we just buy the bicarbonate? Exactly. <laughs> and the vinegar, the vinegar is a dollar ninety-nine cents, I think, in some yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. It's so cheap and it's so much better for the environment. Yeah, and and we have three boys, so anything that can get rid of the stains, <laughs> three yes. boys leave, yeah, yeah, yeah. and is bicarbonate, yeah, bicarbonate. So, and vinegar, and maybe a little bit of uh, lemon juice lemon, occasionally. Lemon, yeah. What about orange <laughs> peel? Do you chuck some orange peel in? Yeah, orange peel, lemon peel. So um, I just get an old container or a wine bottle or anything, and I fill it half with vinegar. Um, and then when I make oranges for the kids at school, I'll just peel off the peel and pop it straight into the vinegar and let it sit for a couple of weeks and just shake it every now and again. Um, and then you strain it off into a little spray bottle and you can use that um, citric spray on, on really anything. I use it on everything really. Um, it's great for windows, it's great for bench tops, um, great for your toilets, it kills germs, the vinegar and bicarb kill germs. So. And? Helps the frogs. And helps the frogs, yeah. <laughs> Plus many other animals. Into the waterways, it's yes. safer the waterways, or safer than other things we use. So. Well, wonderful. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks for coming and talking to us. We've, got, we've learned about frogs, we've learned about cleaning products, <laughs> and it's all in the book in a very entertaining way. And it's also a lovely thing that um, your daughter took on board and yep. obviously is um, going forward. She's still saving frogs? She's you? still saving frogs, yeah. Yep. She's been doing things at school, baking biscuits and raising money oh, for oh, um, the zoo blessed. and um, Save the Frogs programs. And, and my son, he's, um, he's saving the whales, so he's a big oh. sea shepherd supporter. Oh, wow. Um, when their boats are in Williamstown, he, he donates his birthday money to buying food for their crew. And so that will be my next book, so oh, that my children fantastic. have a book each, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a good mum. <laughs> so the, the boy who yeah. saved the whales, <laughs> that'll yeah. be coming out yeah. soon. It's certainly gone from one sort of little scope to yeah. the to largest, be, yeah. yeah. Certainly very easy to have frogs for your daughter in the house. Yes. Difficult to get a <laughs> whale or two in the backyard yeah, or in the pool or something. You may, you may struggle there. I don't think we'll be collecting whales. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, thanks so much. You, you're obviously going out to do a reading of your book here at the Eltona Library and your books, where uh, could we buy them? Okay, you can buy them online at alliesbooks.com um, and you can get them through some environmental uh, resource centres as well, edu early education, environment okay. centre and things like that. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming and chatting with us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs>